So I just wanted to make a quick video in relation to some of the comments that I have received on this video of the drone filming the sunset yesterday and then climbing to a higher altitude and watching the sunset a second time. And the claims are that the horizon did not drop as the uh, drone was climbing. And I'll just show you one of the posts, and I'm not picking on you specifically, Sam, because there was uh, more than one comment claiming this from different people. But Sam says, this proves a flat Earth. The horizon remained central as the camera climbed. On a sphere, it would show an horizon moving lower in the frame as the horizon would be curving down while the camera climbed. And you're quite right, on a sphere, it would show the horizon moving down as the drone climbed. And that's exactly what it did show in the video. So I have to ask, to the guys that uh, made this uh, statement, did you actually watch the video? Because it's fairly obvious that the horizon did actually drop as the drone climbed. Now let's just have a look at how much it should have dropped for that altitude. If we put in uh, an altitude of 1,147 feet into this curve calculator, and then come down to the dip, and it's just there in the middle, we'll see that the dip expected from that altitude is 0 0.6 degrees. We can confirm that with a different calculator. Again, using 1,147 feet, it gives us a dip of 0 0.6 degrees. So it's less than one degree, 0 0.6 degrees. Now, one point I always make is that you cannot see how much the horizon has dropped unless you have an accurate reference to compare that with. And what we can use in this case is the size of the sun, because the sun is visible in the video too. So how big does the sun appear in the sky from the surface of the earth? You can look it up. The angular diameter of the sun is 0 0.5 degrees. So the size of the sun is 0 0.5 degrees, and the expected amount of drop is 0 0.6 degrees. So in the video, we should expect to see the horizon dropping by slightly more than the width of the sun. Let's take a look at it. There's the image from low altitude, just hovering above the water, and you'll see that the horizon just cuts through the bottom of this yellow dot, and the sun is also in line with that. Now, when we climb up to 1,147 feet, you'll see that's not the case. The horizon has actually dropped, the sun has actually dropped, but it's dropped by the correct amount, because if we look at the size of the sun, and remember, part of that sun is hidden at the bottom there, so we've got to sort of imagine the size of the sun, and that's 0.5 of a degree. Now take that size of the sun and compare it to how much the horizon has dropped from this center dot. And you'll see that it matches perfectly to the 0 0.6 degrees that we expected. So at the lower altitude, that's the position of the horizon and the sun. As we go higher, the horizon has dropped and the position of the sun has dropped. Not only has it dropped, but it's dropped by the correct amount predicted for that altitude. And so the final point is that the whole reason we can see the sun again is because the horizon has dropped. Now let's verify that. At low altitude, when we had the first sunset, you'll see that the horizon is just in line with the top of that bottom part of the green box. You'll see there's the horizon running just through here, just through the gap. Now when the sun sets, the sun is therefore below that position. As we climb and we gain altitude, you'll see that the sun is still below that gap. So the sun has set below the original horizon line and it's still below that line and the only reason we can see the sun again is because by gaining altitude the actual horizon has dropped so the horizon drop has revealed the sun again but you'll see the top of the sun is still below the position where it had set previously fairly obvious 
therefore that the only reason we can see the sun is because of the horizon drop.